Okay, I'm, I'm here with the champ. Were you looking to see if you can hear yourself through it? Well, I didn't know if it was on. Oh, okay. Is there an on? Hello? Look how professional you are. Most people just, like, don't think about stuff like that. So, what's going on with your career right now? Uh, I'm just training and, and waiting for my next fight. Um, I don't really know what the next fight's going to be, but I'm going to be ready for it. <laughs> and you got some really good sparring today. It was actually, I should have paid money to watch you spar. So you're obviously staying in shape and keeping busy, right? Yeah, I always do that. You know, I really like boxing, so I figure, you know, it's just a good pastime. So um, I usually try to stay in shape and just wait for the next opportunity. Okay, this is sounding too much like a normal interview, and this can't be a normal interview, right? Okay. So let's talk about the past, man. What? Why, why does your style seem to always not, not resonate with these star cards, dude? Is it, is it culturally? Is it country? Where you're fighting at? Is it just uneducated judges? I mean, what is it? Um, to be honest, I don't really know. I go out there and I do the best I can. You know, in a lot of fights, I feel like I land more than the other person. Um, you know, I don't really know what the judges are looking for. I'm <laughs> trying to figure it out. Like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if they think that they, there's not enough impact on the punches or what. But, uh, you know, I just go out there and do the best I can. And I, I feel like, you know, the, fight, the style of fight that I fight is because, I, you know, I'm a very short fighter. And so, you know, the, my fight style is a product of that. Like, I can't really be a stick and move fighter because I can't reach the other person. So, you know, I it found it's been the most successful style for me, and um, I'm just going to keep going with it, you know, try to perfect it. Okay, and um, why is it women's boxing in the U.S.? Uh, there seems to be a lot of pushback from uh, major television networks. I think that we compete for TV time with, you know, basketball and football and and the football discussion TV shows and all that. So I think that, you know, people just don't see as much money in it as they see in those sports. So that's really unfortunate and I hope that some big TV networks will start to pick up women's boxing so we can be on some big shows. Do you think the influence of Ronda Rousey getting a lot of attention in MMA could shift the focus to women's boxing potentially to have some young entrepreneur try to jump out in 2015, 2016? Uh, I do think so. You know, I feel like ev everything helps. You know, so people see that women can sell tickets. I feel like that it's just like something more more positive to add to the mix. So hopefully, you know, we'll see a change coming up soon. Also, when I talk to Bay Area fighters in general, you're kind of like um, a revered legend. How does that feel to be like um, a pound for pound top 10 Bay Area Northern California fighter and to have such an influence over young fighters as they're coming up? Um, I guess I just see myself as a normal person and I don't really, I mean, I, I guess it's very flattering that you say that, but I just try to be nice to everybody and support people as I would have always done, so I, I don't really know. I guess I maybe don't see myself in that same way, I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see how other people see us, right? Yeah. So, uh, final question. Since you're a bark, you know, you, you say BR, but I say bark. <laughs> I asked you before, but what is the difference? Like, is it feasible to have a whole world based off of solar power? Are we within 50 years of this? 100 years? Is this just a pipe dream? Is this realistic? Um, you know, I think that it could be there someday at the moment with the current um, module efficiency of PV. Like, we cannot... You know, I don't think there's enough, quite enough surface area. But although there was this little genius that was on YouTube that like did some calculation that said it maybe is possible, so I would check out that video. I forgot the kid's name, but it's a solar city video about some genius child that calculated it. So and maybe it will be feasible someday. Probably the path there is to getting better efficiency modules <laughs> for all those geeks in the audience if you want to hear about solar power. <laughs> There you go. Hey, this is why my interviews are real. I think you the real people. It's not just a boxing interview. But, okay. Well, if, where do people find you on social media? Um, you can find me on Facebook. I do have a fan page at uh, Mighty Melissa McMorrow, Brazilian American Boxer. I also have a couple of Facebook pages, Mighty Melissa, my, my, Melissa McMorrow, Melissa McMorrow too. And I do have a Twitter. At, it's at Mighty Melissa M. Actually, I'm going to throw one more question because I didn't know that. So. Okay. What, is, uh, what does it mean to you 
happen to be a Brazilian uh, fighter. What is the? Do you feel attached to your cultural background, and what does that mean translating to the way? Uh, yeah, because my mother um, is Brazilian. She was born in Brazil and and only came here when she was thirty. So I have a good like. 500 relatives or something that are still in Brazil, in Espírito Santo and Rio de Janeiro, and so um, I've been there a lot, I go there a lot, I see my family there a lot, you know, they follow my career, and uh, yeah, unfortunately there's not a lot of boxing in Brazil, it's mostly MMA, so, um, you know, they, I know that there is, I do try to follow Brazilian boxers, there's Esquiva Falsom, who is signed right now, top rank, <laughs> but he's just like still uh, kind of up and coming. Maybe he had four pro fights. So other than that, there's just not a lot of uh, Brazilian boxers that have done anything um, substantial. So um, hopefully someday it'll be popular there too. <laughs> I mean, it's a huge country with a lot of potential viewership. <laughs> so I try to plug that to any TV people. <laughs> Globo, right? Globo, yes, is a big station there. Um, but I mean, it's just a huge country, like the United States, bigger than the United States maybe, I don't know.